And the more COVID-19 cases we see, the greater the need is for blood donations, especially as we head into the summer months. And while you donate, the American Red Cross says it will also be testing for COVID-19 antibodies as well. 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland joins us live at a local Red Cross chapter to explain how you can get tested. Kelsey. Yeah, that's right, Ross. If you want to find out if you have COVID-19 antibodies, all you'll need to do is make an appointment for your local blood drive. Now, that process is just the same as a regular blood donation with an added benefit. We need that blood and we want to prevent that, you know, a summer blood shortage. American Red Cross says blood donations have slowed down while hospital demand for blood has jumped by 30%. Because, you know, those surgical procedures that were paused at the beginning when, uh, you know, COVID-19 started have now continued. So we have, you know, those regular, you know, patients that need the blood, cancer patients, sickle cell anemia patients, you know, premature babies still needing that blood. Many blood drives were canceled due to COVID-19. 13-year-old Avery Berta wanted to help make up for that time by hosting a drive at his temple. I thought it was really important to do this right now because uh, people can't have blood drive. Donors not only help out hospitals in need, you'll also learn whether or not you've been exposed to COVID-19. We will be obtaining just a sample during that blood donation that is then sent and processed um, along with other infectious diseases that we screen for. A lab screens your blood for antibodies, which are formed when you find infections like COVID-19. Results are available 7 to 10 days later. If results come back positive, you may be eligible to donate convalescent blood plasma, which could help a critical patient fight the virus. Now, this test is not a diagnosis, so it won't tell you if you have COVID-19 right now. And if you feel sick at all, you're asked to completely skip the donation. You'll want to make that appointment online before you show up. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.